Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out another episode of Map Men. How did triangles shrink France? Hey Mark, what country am I supposed to be? <laughs> Offensive France? Bienvenue à Homme Carte. Nous sommes les hommes. Et voilà, la carte. Homme Carte, Homme Carte, Homme, Homme Carte, Carte. Carte, The Cassini carte. family map of France is quite possibly the most incredible map ever made. Considering what? how old it is, very, it's astonishing how accurate it is. Also very. And the story behind it is pretty astonishing too. I'm sorry, the, the, Cassini, the, the best map- The Cassini map of France? Cassini family map of France. Wow. Very, it's astonishing how accurate it is. Also very. And the story behind it is pretty astonishing too. Before the Cassinis, the best map of France looked like this. Not bad. But also, definitely not good. That's not bad. I've seen way worse maps. If I had the map on the left, I could get around, I think. I, at least I would know what direction a city is in, or I, I could figure out which river to follow. In those days, maps weren't very precise. They were more like works of art. But King Louis XIV wanted to know exactly what he was king of, <laughs> and he wanted a great big map on his bedroom wall. So he called his cartographer friend Giovanni Cassini. Monsieur, uh, je voudrais uh, une carte. Une carte? Une carte, oui, une carte. Uh, uh, très grande uh, de mon France. Bof, je commence. I think that what they just said was, I want a, Fran a big map of France, basically. Right? Très grande? But of course, it was a lot trickier than just saying bof. When Cassini googled satellite photography, he found an article saying that it wouldn't be invented for another 300 years. So Cassini had no option but to use an old-fashioned yet ingenious process called triangulation. Triangulation works by making triangles. You start by measuring the distance between two points. Then you spy out a third point and measure the angles towards it with a massive protractor. Using these measurements, and a bit of maths, you can plot a stunningly accurate triangle on your map, no matter how big or bumpy the terrain is. Simply repeat the process over and over again, et voila, a complete and thoroughly accurate map. Okay. Cassini travelled around France with his triangle measuring machinery for years and years until he was oh too God. dead to carry on. That would be the most tedious job. This would have been in the late 1600s, early 1700s. How did they measure back then? No wonder he's dead. Did he really die? Hang on. Travelled around France with his triangle measuring machinery for years and years until he was too dead to carry on. So his son, Cassini Jr., took over from his dead dad. He did die. Okay, wow. That would... Okay, yeah. It would... I could see how it could kill somebody. Until he was too dead to carry on. Yeah. So his son, Cassini Jr., took over from his dead dad and continued measuring. <laughs> then Cassini Jr. died and was replaced by his son, Cassini Jr. Jr., the first Cassini's grandson. They had first names, you know. No one cares. Back then, France was mostly a poverty-stricken son. How long was... Cassini Jr. How long? died. Wait, so... How many years did it take? Like, they're probably going to tell me, but I want to find out. It took 50 years to make? Wow. That is a family project. Yeah. The first Cassini's grandson. They had first names, you know. No one cares. <laughs> Back then, France was mostly a poverty-stricken rural backwater, and not overly partial to the arrival of strangers. Plus ça change. This made map-making a dangerous endeavor. In 1740, plus ça change. Plus the change, the more it changes. Okay. Plus the change. This made map making a dangerous endeavor. In 1740, the villagers in Les Estables brutally hacked one of Cassini's surveyors to death, believing their strange tools and modern science were the cause of their failed harvest. Bang. Wow. Bang. 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 Ow. Bang. Ow. Ow. Bang. Bang. <laughs> but eventually, the Cassinis covered all 600,000 square French kilometers of France and produced this. A map made entirely of triangles. Oh. The king, who by now was a different king, was delighted until he noticed something wrong. Zut alors, qu'est-ce que c'est? Is there a problem? My country is 20% smaller than I thought it was. You have taken more from me than I won in all my wars. I actually said this. But your highness, you literally asked for an accurate map. Well, you could at least bother to fill it in with some details like uh, villages and rivers. <laughs> it's not just <laughs> triangles. So Cassini Jr. Jr. <laughs> set about turning his very accurate map into a very useful map. Every church, every farm, every copse, every petrol station was painstakingly marked in the very first modern map of its kind. And then wow. Cassini Jr. Jr. died and was replaced by Cassini Jr. Jr. the second until the job was finished. Four generations of the same family taking over 120 years to complete a task is wow. a pretty impressive level of commitment. 
Okay, I thought it was 50 years, but I guess that was just to get that first map, and it took another 70 years to make the rest of it? Wow. Until the job was finished. Four generations of the same family taking over 120 years to complete a task is a pretty impressive level of commitment. In today's terms, that's like someone watching a YouTube video all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> In 1793, the Cassini family's now completed enormous 12 by 11 meter map comprising 182 sheets of incroyable detail. That looks really good. That looks accurate, doesn't it? Sorry to interrupt. Almost 12 by 11 meter map comprising 182 sheets of incroyable Wait, 12 by 11 meters? How many feet is that? 12 meters is 39 feet. Wow. That's gigantic. In 1793, the Cassini family's now completed enormous 12 by 11 meter map comprising 182 sheets of incroyable detail was proudly stolen by the people who'd executed the king the year before. Napoleon oh, decided wow. the Cassini family's long association with the crown made them enemies of the revolution. And so they confiscated the map, prevented its public use, and threw Cassini in jail. Napoleon milked the map for magnificent military manoeuvres. Buff. It also inspired the Ordnance Survey maps here in Britain. He threw the Cassini family in jail? And so they confiscated the map, prevented its public use, and threw Cassini in jail. Napoleon. What a jerk. Napoleon milked the map for magnificent military manoeuvres. Buff. It also inspired the Ordnance Survey maps here in Britain and ushered in an age Hang where on. maps were left. Sorry to keep stopping it, but what does buff mean in French? Oh, meh? Okay. Buff. It also inspired the Ordnance Survey maps here in Britain and ushered in an age where maps were less about art and more about accurate accuracy. How astonishing. But perhaps the most astonishing thing about. Oh, that's my time up. Now time for my son to take over. Your son? Yep. <laughs> Here you go, Jay Jr. Ah, just carry on where I left off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he had a son. Wow, I love the map, man. Another great video by them. I didn't know about this Cassini map of France, but it changed the whole cartography industry, I guess. That's pretty amazing. 120 years to make that map and then it was stolen and then the whoever was the cassini at the time was thrown in jail what a thankless tedious endeavor wow cassini family sorry the first map took 50 years of triangulation so they're measuring and calculating that's like 50 years of doing math all day you wake up you might eat breakfast, you, you measure and do math. You eat lunch, you measure and do math. And walk? You're also walking the whole time. That would suck. Napoleon, what a dumb thing to put the Cassini guy in jail. Obviously, this Cassini family has extreme loyalty and persistence, and you could have used that to your own advantage. Well, you did. You, you used their map. But you could have used them for other stuff. You could have you could have had a Cassini for life. And then that Cassini would have his son take over for whatever he was doing for you after that. Napoleon could have taken over the world if he had just trusted the Cassini. Another great map mem video. Thank you guys for recommending. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Later.